information about our class is interesting. Over to you, Gian. Thank you, Sephora. The Anar Mariada was born in Turin on October 26, 1828. He is the eighth son of a wealthy family. His father, a wealthy stockbroker, died in 1833, orphaned by his father when he was only four. His mother was a very religious woman, sent her little nanny to boarding school in Savona at the Piaris Fathers, where he remained from 1836 to 1843. And back in Turin, he attended theology courses at the university. He still received an excellent Christian education at the Scalopi College in Savon. Reporting live here in Turin, Italy, I am Gian Andre Torres, supporting for Pascania and Patrol. Over to you, Gianna. Thank you, Gian. When Leonard Mayado was a teenager, he went through a spiritual problem, which led him to conversion and to the discovery of the priestly vocation. He began his philosophical and theological studies in Turing during these years. He began working at the Guardian Angels Oratory, directed by his cousin, Father Robert, Roberto and Mariano. And in 1851, he became a priest. Let us now interview some students from Gaytree St. Leonard Mariado in the Mosca School. Hello, Sian. Have you named Tadeus? What can you say about St. Leonard Mariado's collaboration with Father Robert Mariado and the Guardian Angels Oratory? We are so thankful to this collaboration. We came directly in touch with the problems of Current young people, like these three children, prisoners, Kim's Beat, and Shop Hands. That's true. And in 1851, he was ordained priest and began to work in strict collaboration with his father Capasso and Don Bosco and took on the administration of the St. Aloysius Oratory at Don Bosco's request. He breathed the preventive system, incarnated it, and applied it to all his future educational works. Yes, and in 1866, he accepted the administration of the Artigianelli College in town, dedicated to taking and providing a Catholic and technical education for poor and abandoned boys. He made many journeys throughout Italy, France, and England, visiting educational and welfare institutions to learn, address, and improve the educational system. Wow! Thank you for the information, Sian Havin and Tadeus. It's nice to hear that he also worked with those Salesian saints like Don Bosco, Saint Joseph, Capasso, and help other people who are in need. I'm Juliana Michaela A. Tuban, reporting for Boscano Patrol. Back to you, Zipora. And now from the congregation of St. Joseph, let us hear from Alaric about the founding of Giuseppine del Mariano. Good day to you, Alaric. Thank you, Zephora. In 1873, with the support of some co-workers, he founded the congregation of St. Joseph or Giuseppine del Mariano. Their apostolic goal is the education of youth, especially the poor and abandoned. He opened oratories, vocational schools, family houses for working children, agricultural schools, and defend his commitment to lay associations, especially in the field of vocational training for young people and, and good press. His motto was action rather than words. This is a large one of said, 44 Bosconian Patrol. 
Duke Leonard Murialdo, contemplative in action like Don Bosco. Around 1884, he was he was struck by several attacks of bronco pneumonia. Don Bosco went to, went to bless him and despite trials and troubles, he lived until 19, 1900. The loss of his father at an early age also inspired Leonardo to be the father and the guide of the young that the Lord wanted to entrust to his care. His lifestyle work made him very much like his friend and model St. John Bosco. Just like Don Bosco, he is the patron saint of apprentices. When St. Morialdo founded the Society of St. Joseph or Giuseppini del Morialdo, he modeled it under the patronage of St. Joseph, the model for working people. This society still exists and still supports young apprentices. He founded a center for delinquent boys, the foreigner of boy staff and similar institutions. He also supported the Catholic Quaker Union established a national federation to improve the level of Italian journalism and became a model for Christian social workers. He was called a socialist for advocating an eight-hour workday in 1885. St. Leonard Mariotta died on March 30. 1900, and Pope Paul VI proclaimed him blessed in 1963, and a saint on May 3, 1970. His remains rest in the Church of Saint Barbara in Turin. Let us hear his message in this video. Each one of us is invited to imitate the way of loving Jesus by loving the poor and the abandoned young people around us. My love and passion for the souls enables me to care for the poor and the last of the society. Let us show our love to Jesus through caring for the poor, homeless, abandoned, and less fortunate children around, especially in this time of COVID-19. I praise the Lord.